Hello traders, hope you are all doing great. You know what is the difference between reactive and proactive? That is a this is a very simple term. Reactive is when you do a thing when something has happened. Let's say there is a scenario, it has gone wrong, you act on that, that is called reactive, right? There is another opposite of reactive is called proactive. That is you predict this is going to happen and react before that scenario happens or that thing whatever you thought has happened is called proactive, right? Now, uh, I have a mentor, right? He's not popular, but he's a very genuine guy. He's uh, really good. He's not into social media. He always says to me, Umar, you, are, you always have to be proactive in the market. You, are, you don't have to react to market. You have to be proactive in the market. That is what we have been doing for the last two or three trading session. And uh, to be honest with you, I told for the last two or three trading session, markets are likely to come down. Even in yesterday's telegram, uh, yesterday in our telegram group, I told I don't think 18,000 is going to happen. We are sitting at 17,750 levels now, right? The fall and this also I told yesterday, whenever there is going to be a fall, it is going to be very aggressive fall. Two days of price action just happened in one day. Two days it took the market for, to go from 17,700, 750 to 18,000 and today it took just one day to come back. That's why I told yesterday in yesterday's video, whenever the market goes in, uh, goes upside, it goes lift, is it goes in lift but from there when it wants to come down, it is coming, it is jumping or it is doing a bungee jump, right? That's how things work here. And people told me that and this, you don't know that this, all kind of nonsense they throw at me. Now you come and please reply. Those people who commented, uh, commented on uh, day before video and yesterday's video, you please come and comment now. I am sitting in an excellent profit. This month uh, is in fact a very good month for me. <laughs> we have made a really good profit, right? That's why I am saying you have to be always proactive in the market. Don't uh, be, uh, you know, uh, you have to have a different perspective about the market because everybody is long. There is no necessity you have to be long and because everybody is short, there is no necessity uh, you have to be short. And remember this because some uh, YouTuber or some famous uh, uh, social media content creator is, law, is telling you have to be long in the market. It doesn't mean you have to be long in the market. You have to think in a different perspective. That's what I'm trying to say, right? Anyway, markets are uh, really volatile and you see what has happened today. Today alone, Nifty has, I think uh, it was just uh, eight points away from 18,000. High was, today's high was around 17,992 to be precise, if I'm right, yeah. Yeah, that is the high we were. Yeah, if you see this, this is this is a Nifty chart. Today's high was seventeen thousand eight hundred ninety eighty nine, around ten points away from eighteen thousand. And today's low is around uh, maybe seventeen thousand seven hundred fifty or this level. And Bank Nifty, you this uh, today's price action alone was around Bank Nifty was uh, going down by two hundred fifty points. And Bank Nifty was going massive, uh, maybe 800, 900 points. All because of uh, this uh, US, uh, US market global queues, to be precise, global queues. We didn't get support from global queues. Every, everyone, was, uh, everyone was expecting that the market will go on a single one-way <laughs> one direction, but it doesn't happen like that. Markets are cyclical. Once they saw yesterday's price action, once they saw that these FIAs are short in the market or the FIAs have started selling in the market, they started panicking and that's what we have seen today. The price action whatever we saw today is uh, the sentiment of uh, like uh, reaction of retailers or other proprietary traders or some other people, some other uh, participant who, are, who is in this fraternity, right? So. Now what is going to happen next? Maybe we will touch 17,500 or maybe 17,600, 17,700. We are almost at 17,700. Even though we are in profit, I have a 17,500 put option, uh, which will be in trouble in case we are gapping down on Monday. 
that we don't know what is going to happen whether we are going to gap down or whether we are going to uh, open flat uh, probably either of the two is going to happen either we are going to gap down or we are going to open flat i don't think uh, it is going to gap up even if it gap ups that i am saying you that is an excellent opportunity go and short the market right now it has run for a very long time now it will consolidate maybe 17500 then once we reach 17500 we will go long in the market until then we will short the market go and sell 18000 call option 18100 200 300 400 500 also you can say sell india vix is almost around 18.5 you will get excellent premium even on august expiry so that is the best idea you can do and looking at other things today uh, let us see the open interest yeah this is the open interest uh, as i told you people are writing aggressive calls at around 18000 yeah 18000 17800 17900 18000 17900 call option uh, put option yesterday people who had written 17900 had to run for cover so this is the overall picture 18000 is going to be a very super strong resistance uh, at least for this august expiry and when it comes to bank nifty uh, bank nifty yeah 39500 39000 everything is being returned 39 yeah highest to call open interest is among 39000 so you know what has to be done and sgx nifty is down by i think 20 points so you know uh, what has to be done at least now uh, you short the market uh, always you whenever you short the market or whenever you go long in the market do a hedging don't uh, do naked call option or naked put option you will get uh, margin benefits also and you will get protection also so always hedge your position and short the market we have gap till 17500 i am sure it is going to reach before pre- uh, next expiry which is august 20- august uh, i think august 25 right yeah august 25 expiry it is going to market is going to touch 17500 that is my belief right see you don't have to put a very big thinking about these things and all direction and all very very simple logic you don't have to see the indicators you don't have to see uh, double mountain formation that formation this formation nothing you have to see you just apply some logic and you will know what is going to, what is happening in the market right now all these years i have not used a single indicator i don't talk about technical all i know i know is how to sell option when to sell uh, option and where to sell options selling 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 only i know and uh, i am sure i am uh, successful for all these years almost 10 years in selling options and i can i am sure i can tell you i am successful right don't uh, don't think usually think unusual that is the thing which is going to keep you active in the market right i don't i hope you don't um, uh, mistake me i'm just uh, saying uh, for uh, this commonly i'm saying right so i hope i have summarized everything uh, let's see how things pan out uh, happy weekend uh, take care bye